Hello, some of you have a, a web browser that's not supporting the correct code formatting. So the commands that we show you and tell you to use are displayed uh, in the wrong way. The ones I'm talking about are mostly here in the install the lab environment. And as you see here, this is how it's supposed to look like. As before the command, you have a double dash. Some of you only see one dash. You also get the space between around the dollar signs. I posted um, a message in Canvas for a, a fix. If you use the, the wrong command here, then you get the broken sudoers file because the variable dollar user is not what's intended. It's going to be I show you. ls etc sudoers.d This is dollar user the correct way. It's the current user that's using the system. If you run the command that's wrong, then you're going to end up with a user who's called ah this and the syntax is wrong for a username. So if you try and use sudo, it's gonna tell you that th this file is broken. And to remove that user, we need to clear it from the sudoers.d folder. We first, as a super user, we can run rm for remove slash etc sudoers d and then we use tab completion to find uh, this username it contains spaces and yeah, it's hard to to type so we do a backslash and then we press the tab key and if you can see it it's this one type it repeatedly okay a space as well then you type it and then it's going to auto fill in the correct username. You see here we also have spaces after. So this username is very wrong. And we remove it like that. And now we can uh, we use exit ls etc sudoers.d and the username is gone. So now we can use sudo again. I try it out and my user can use sudo commands. No broken files. So as a root user, use this command. Use the tab completion, the tab key I showed you, because you need to get all the spaces here correct. Start with a backslash, press space, and then you press tab. Good luck and I hope this is going to solve this issue for many of you. If you, you can compare what I wrote in Canvas. If you see the errors code, use a different web browser. Then the code is going to work better. I think it's going to look good in Edge, if you got that. Uh, I also changed the current formatting on these code snippets. so. Perhaps this is not going to be a problem anymore, but for you who's already run this command and you get the problem with the sudoers file, the folder, you may be helped by this command. Good luck!